Well, hello everyone, Micah Turnbull from Behold Wonder. I'm glad to be with you and just to you know, encourage you today um, and answer a question that I'm, I'm often asked is on the topic of angels. Go figure, I'm always asked questions about angels. Um, one of them that I'm asked often is, why do I talk about angels and why is it important for me to know about them? Well, um, I just wanna say that in Hebrews chapter one, if you, I encourage you to read Hebrews chapter one, the entire chapter. It actually describes what angels are in, in a certain sense, and who are the, what is the relationship with Jesus, and um, it describes their function in a way. It says that they are ministering spirits. Now that sounds pretty vague. If you think about it, it's like ministering spirits. Okay, what do they mean by ministering it, and why are they called spirits? Well, it's referenced because spirits are, they come from God. They are created like you and I. We are also a spirit and we're also a body, um, but angels are spiritual beings that God had created. And they minister unto God first, and as a result of them ministering unto God and worshiping Him and being in that place of obedience, He sends them to you. Angels are a gift. What do they do? Angels not only fight on your behalf or protect on your behalf, but they also are a gift. They give you what is needed for that time, for that season, for that event. See, God sends them from his throne and he commands them to look after his children, to watch over you. And a lot of you who are watching me have different assignments in your life. They probably are in ministry, you know, or even in the marketplace. Angels provide gifts to you, provide service to you for what is needed at that time. For example, if you are needed, if you need protection, they protect you, they look after you. If you need courage, they bring courage to you. If you need a companion, they will be a friend to you. When you are feeling sad or depressed, dealing with grief, they bring understanding, they bring joy to you. They also listen. You know, we have those moments when we think we're talking to ourselves. And I've had these experiences, you know, where I'm talking to myself and yes, the Lord hears every word I'm saying, but he's not the only one in the room listening. There was a moment where I was going through something very challenging and I would talk to myself and encourage myself and, and uh, you know, say things that I were honest and I were open, you know, and it was hard. And as I'm talking, uh, the Lord opens my eyes and I see to my right, sitting right next to me, the angel God has assigned to me, Eden. And Eden is, polite he's very he smiles he, he's he's um he's a wonderful friend and he was listening and i was startled because i thought shouldn't you be fighting something you know you got your weapons shouldn't you be fighting something or do you have a message for me and i remember i looked at him and i said is there something you want to say and he said oh no he said what you need right now is someone to listen to you so I'm being a listening ear to you. See, angels are fascinating because they are not only warriors, but they, are, they have compassion. They have the ability to understand what you're going through. So how does this apply to you? You can be encouraged that you have help, that you're not lacking in anything. The Lord has provided for you all that you need in himself, but also you also given you a companion from heaven, a spiritual being, a ministering spirit that has come to you to give healing, to give joy, to give courage and boldness, to be that friend that pats you on the back when you do something cool. He's the one that is listening to you when there's hardship. So you have help. And I'll just say this, that a lot of the things that you think you do on your own, 
that angel who's receiving no credit is behind you cheering you on and you couldn't do things without him. So I hope this blesses you and encourages you to thank the Lord for the ministering spirits that he has assigned to your life. Thank the Lord for the help that you get to receive because they're awesome and they're good companions. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.